hour. I know. <laughs> uh, hey, Doc. As we, so <clears throat> we are back again. But this is actually episode forty. We're on, we're on I know. the big four zero. The big four zero. Yeah. <laughs> we'll celebrate when we hit a hundred. Yeah, that'll be a milestone. Yeah. that's a milestone. That is. Hey, we keep going on this pace, man. We're gonna get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. For sure. Yeah. We got to keep keep at it. That's it. Consistency is key in everything. Consistency is the key. Especially boxing. 100%. 100%, Doc. All right. Let's get right into it, man. There was some yeah. really good fights. I got a new favorite fighter. We'll talk about that later. Okay. But it, it okay. So is it, is it though, Jerron Ennis? Boots? No. No, but I love him. But okay. he's not my new favorite. So it was someone that fought on the weekend. Is your, is your favorite now? Yeah. Yeah, and then I went back and looked at a bunch of his other fights, and this guy's like, to me, he's like Lomachenko level. What the? I'm not, I'm not, I can't. I'm drawing a blank. Right we'll get now. there. We'll get. We'll there. get there. Okay. okay yeah. Okay. When there's five minutes left in the podcast, I'll tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay anyway, so, anyways, like the first fight, I mean, there was the highly anticipated fight with. Jerome Boots Ennis and Daka talked about him numerous times and how I feel about him and how I feel he's a pound for pound. He's going to be, he's not there yet. He passed just like a, uh, the contender level. He's now a, a, a big threat at this weight class and yeah. boxing in general, pound for pound. Yeah. Possibly. I mean, We'll, we'll just talk about the performance. Anyway, so Jerome Boots and his, now he's 27 and 0 and 25 knockouts with his six round stoppage of uh, Sergey Samurai Lipinets, who now is 16 2, 1, 12 KOs, six round KO. Let, let's hear your opinion, Doc, first on what you, what you thought about this fight. So um, Jerome is a. Uh... He's a good outside fighter. We saw that in, in his previous fights and this fight. Uh, but he's a heck of an inside fighter, too. He knows sure. how to create distance <clears throat> even when the guy's close. And yeah. he, can, he can fight in the phone booth as well. He's that skilled. Mm -hmm. um, changing from orthodox to, to yeah. uh, lefty, unorthodox. Yeah. And he's yeah. just as powerful in his unorthodox. It's totally. If not, if not more powerful at Southpaw, hey? Yeah. Yeah, Dominic. I don't know. Maybe he's a natural <laughs> southpaw. That yeah, uh, I, I'm not sure, but mm -hmm. um, he just controlled the fight from from day from round one to the knockout, and uh, I think he knew exactly how to knock him out, how yeah. he's gonna uh, finish it. Yeah, um, I mean, like he his all his punches have bad attention on him, <clears throat> right? Yeah. Like he yeah. throws him with conviction on every shot, and he's tricky. He's tricky. He's slippery. You don't know what very, exactly which very. punch is coming mm -hmm. your way. And he's got speed. I mean, this guy is a huge threat. So the, the first thing I thought of when that fight ended was how's he gonna get a fight with the top with the top guys? Doc and that and who's that, gonna wanna fight? That's a hundred percent it. That's a hundred percent it. Because these guys right now, anyways, they're not fighting each other. These other undefeated guys, like look at that. 135 pound weight class. Uh, none of those guys are fighting each other. Um, that's going to be the problem now with with uh, with Ron Boots and is coming into yeah. the picture of the 147 pound landscape. Yeah, he's, is he's too much of a threat for probably little reward at this point. Right. And so what I started thinking was, is he he he's going to go through like. A, a, a triple G phase where there was a point where none of the top guys wanted to fight triple G. So he was fighting <laughs> Rosario. Yeah. Great. Fight, yeah. Good tough fighter, guy. Game, yeah. Yeah. But not quite at that level. No. You know, <clears throat> Murray. Yeah. Martin Murray. Like all like... those. And, and I think Jerome's going to fight everybody that's between the top seven and 10. Yeah. Or, or even deep, even past that. Because it's going to be hard to fight, find a fight. That's it. That, that's going to be the problem, especially with that performance. I mean, all eyes were on this card because they'll talk of Jerome Ennis. 
and that and for his he's headlining on a Showtime telecast, oh. so that's a big uh, uh, platform. And yeah, he delivered. And now this lady, exactly what you said, Doc. Like the rest of the one forty seven pound weight class, they're all on note, and they know that's not don't mess with this guy. Let's stay away from this guy. Exactly. So I, I think about also how, you know, Spence and Crawford, how that's not happening. Mm -hmm. Who's, how they got, how is it, who's going to fight uh, Ennis? Like, yeah. Who, uh, five, yes. like, Porter already said he would not fight him. You're right. No, and even Porter, and Porter says to everyone that he'll fight yeah. everyone. And right. these guys fight him because he's he's really tough but like he's beatable and the thing is, is, for sure mm -hmm. for sure but the, but the thing is like he's 27 and 0 he deserves respect and mm -hmm. and he's he deserves to fight the top guys now it's not like he hasn't paid his dues so the top guys go no no he's got to fight more guys before he gets me it's yeah. not like that he's 27 it's, and 0 now let's go yeah. It's not like that. He the only way he'll get one of those fights with those one of those guys, Earl Spence, whomever Crawford, is if he becomes a mandatory. And we're, we're talking about that. Then, but these guys are not uh, gonna try to fight um, Boots. No. I mean, the fan, the fans really in boxing really dictate. Really, they should dictate. Like good fighters listen to the fans. What the fans want? Okay, the fans want this. Then I'm gonna go that way. I'm a, I'll do True. what they want. But True. Sometimes it doesn't happen that way, right? As well. So many times it doesn't. Yeah. yeah so and the thing times. is, you got sorry, you got these guys at the top of 147. Um, you know Crawford, Spence. Um, you got Garcia. Yeah, up there. Right. Garcia, just whatever. You've always been but, on Garcia's, man. You well, always be, you, you always been a Garcia guy, man. I, I know, but I told you that a lot has to do with his father too. Yeah, I started following his father on Instagram. It's he's hilarious. He's amazing. Funny. amazing. He's a funny guy. Like oh. him. Like but him. but so if he's if even like those guys would have the Porters, the Garcias, the Thurmans, those guys at that yeah. level. Yeah. They have they they would look at drone and say no I got if I lose I got too much to lose if I well, fight this dude and, and then what, for what and and why would I fight him unless he's a mandatory like he's too much of a threat right let's right. leave him alone he you know what doc um I was thinking I'm like Terrence Crawford and drone and his, they had they're similar switch hit. Whatever they're sleeping next, oh. but I just think drawn just drawn boots. He he's a way bigger puncher, and that's different. Everyone loves knuckles, and if you have that eraser, you have the ability to change the complexion of any fight. You're always in any fight. I doubt this guy anyone would be able to outschool him because he's so well schooled. But if it happens, you know this guy can take you out. Right, right. Crawford doesn't smart. have that. Yeah. Yeah. No, but he's pretty vicious though. He, no, he's a he's a killer. He's a finisher for yeah. sure. I'm just talking about the one punch yeah, power. I agree. And 25 knockouts and 27 fights. Yeah. Like that's crazy. Yeah. And he just he knocked out Lipniats, who's um, never been never been knocked out. Right. Never right. been knocked out. He made a statement to the welterweight division. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And that that's why like. That's why a lot of these guys are going to go, uh, I don't know if I want to fight him. I want somebody else to fight him, beat him, see where his weaknesses are, you know, see where the he, chinks, kinks in the armor are. I shouldn't say do you, do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. Kinks in the armor. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Doug, uh, so I, I was going to say, so do, like with Bruce Ennis, like, did you see – any any holes in his game what do, what's your opinion i mean hard to pick but wow, did you see anything point. uh not really not really not against lipinets no lipinets yeah um 
I mean, personally, I would yeah, say no if way. I'd only give, because uh, the guy to me is like all the most, the most round, well-rounded fighter out there right now, well-rounded, everything. I mean, does he does that. Speed, power, defense, switch hitter, all that, like tenacity, knockout power, all that. Um, just like the thing, like in this fight, he and has landed forty two percent of his of his Oof. punches, forty two percent. Like he's got accuracy. One hundred twenty five with three hundred punches, he landed. Um, that's incredible. Six round fight and uh, power punches, he landed ninety one of one hundred seventy two in six rounds. He, that, he was, that's, that's over eighty percent. That's I mean that's over fifty percent. Yeah, yeah, fifty-three percent. Fifty-three percent. That's amazing. That, mm. Like, who who does that now? I know, I know. And what what I said in my Cooner's corner prior to this fight, and like, this is gonna be the perfect opponent for for um Boots, and it's to showcase his skill, how good he is, because this was a to me it was a tailor made opponent, and I mean Good credit call. to Lipinets, he is yeah. fifteen and one and. And and very very tough fighter. Yeah, Mikey Garcia won twelve rounds with him. Mikey dropped him too. Yeah, um, but you know he and 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 Boots becomes the first person to knock him out. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was a well 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 uh, thought thought out uh, fight. Yeah, it was good. Matchmaking is so important in boxing, dog. Like, yeah. the match- well, there's the other issue with boot with boots. He can make any guy look bad or not look like they're at the top of their game, just because of his style and the way he fights. Like, yeah, man, no, and nobody wants to be embarrassed in the ring either, right? Yeah, no. Uh, you're you're so right about that uh, you're so yeah. right about that um this dude is pretty he's special right he's special my my one thing would be this doc like to me he's shown everything like i said but i don't i don't really feel confident that his chin is like because i haven't seen him get really hurt or him even though lipin has story lipin has hit him with some clean shots some really good shots and he he and and, and uh, boots came back very nice. Didn't get it with, with clean shots, right? Um, yeah. And and he came back really good. So maybe he did show. I wanted to see him get tested a little bit more on the chin, yeah. and yeah. then I'll say he's he's gonna be everything that we said he was gonna be. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'd actually like to see him fight uh, Porter, uh, who's the total pressure fighter. Mm-hmm. See how he handles pressure like that. I'd yeah. like to see that. I think that would be a really good opponent for him, actually. That would be. That would be. And and you know he's all. Um, and the thing is, I'm just thinking about PBC yeah. and stuff. Yeah. I don't know if Ennis has any, but Ennis is not, not even promoted. But he has a manager, Cameron Duncan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but he's not even <sighs> doesn't have a promoter. Um. Will he be able to go over to PPC? I'm sure that something it, without a promoter. I mean, Mayweather did what Mayweather wanted to do. Yeah, he was his own promoter, and yeah, he did that right, just what true. he wanted to do. Yeah, true. You never know. <laughs> he was he was something, man. Uh, uh, Doc, so Duran like uh, Boots and his 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 both of his brothers and dad were all fighters. Um. The brother was a former middleweight and super middle. Oh, they're both the brothers were both former middleweight and super middleweight contenders. Um, Derek Pooh Annis. I, I don't know if you remember hearing the name. He he was 24 and 5. One big name that he lost to was Caleb Truak. Um, the other brother was Farah Annis, who was 22 and 2. He yeah, lost keep going, keep yeah. going. Yeah, I'll be back. He Sorry. lost. He lost uh, his uh, lots of big fight to Badu Jack. Um, the Ennis, uh, the father, Derek Bolzi Ennis, was also was also a, a boxer. So 
family blood fam, family bloodlines of boxing in uh, in the NS household. And he was saying that um, even as a kid, he grew up in the gyms. Just like Mayweather was, I talked about it, how he grew up in the gym. His dad, his uncle, uh, uncles were both fighters. Mayweather grew up as a kid in the gym, and so did so did uh, Boots. Mm. He grew up in the gym. Grew up in the gym in the Philly, Philly gyms. Yeah, yeah, I like that parallel you're making. That's interesting. Yeah. So I mean, so it it looks great to me. It looks the package is great. Right. The package right. is great. Good point. Good yeah. point. Yeah. I just I just hope he gets the opportunity to fight the top guys. That's all I hope for. Yeah, that's that's all, all we can hope for. I mean, if it becomes like a mandatory, whatever, we just want to see the best fight, the best in boxing. That's what yep. it's all about. The best gonna fight the best. That's uh, what it's about. And they're not doing it. Like I told you about the the little quote somebody told me was like look at these older fighters that are coming back now like um uh, Miguel Cotto is fighting Juan Mano Marquez and uh these old guys are gonna come back because the young guys aren't fighting each other so these old guys are gonna fight each other <laughs> show them hey man this is how we used to do it mm-hmm. and Morales and Juan Mano they these guys fight each other Hearns Hagler yeah, you got to fight each other, man, to be the best. But I wonder if these young guys now are going, are looking at that, these old guys fighting each other and going, hey, I could still have a career. Yeah. If I don't uh, get too busted up. Yeah. I could have a career. I mean, Doc, honestly, it's a, it, we know it's a dangerous sport. We know it's a very hard sport. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not saying don't fight. The best should fight the best. That's the whole thing with boxing. Mexican yeah. fighters always talk about it. We want to be the best. We come to put on a show for the fans. As long as the fans are happy, that's it. And that's what right. boxing is all about. Right. The fans. Absolutely. Absolutely. I agree, man. Um, so at Ennis, like some some things that he was saying, he's like, yeah. he's like, uh, I would just see my openings. He he was he was really good on the inside, so I started getting closer, looking for my big chart. I found it. I want one of the top names. They, they might not give me a shot, but we'll <laughs> see. I, I think I'm ready for the top five, the top three. So he's I like that. that. He's, he's very confident in himself. Yep. Um, his dad's a trainer. That I mean that that bond is must be like crazy, oh. crazy tight. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's like, then he's like, Lipniazza has been in there with the best before, so I wasn't surprised he held up for so long. I knew he was durable. That's why I didn't jump on the gas right away. I just took my time and broke him down. I think I graduated tonight. It's on. It's up and up now. On to bigger and better things. So let's let's see where he goes from here. Yep. Yep. Let's see where he goes from here. Yeah. I'm so curious now, dog. You got to tell that the fight of the night, like, were you, was it Vlasov that you You were... need patience. I'll tell you later. <laughs> or I, I think I know who you're going to say. Yeah. The, Lith- the Lithuanian. I'm no. Sure. no. What, he, you said he was a Russian? Or no, you said, I no, didn't wasn't say. A... Oh, okay. I'm just trying to get it out of you. <laughs> See, I was trying to trick you there. You should have been a cop. I know it's totally <laughs> no, I will never want to be. Um, let's not even talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Should have been a detective, man. Yeah, Being interrogated here. Yeah, well, you know, all right, I, you know, I learned from my wife because she interrogates the hell out of me, so I, I'm <laughs> learning all these tricks. <laughs> but anyway, anyway. Oh, yeah. Anyways, the advantage of marriage, buddy. Yeah. Um, Grow a thick skin. (laughs) I'm just trying to look really quick. um, Because I want to... This is... Oh, you're you're talking about Jogba? Oh, F.A.O. Jogba? Yeah. I do like him, but that's not the guy I'm talking about. But should we talk about his fight? Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, There's yeah, we can do, did, and then now we're switching over networks. We're yeah. going now from Showtime to ESPN, which was great, like the attitude. And I was flipping back and forth, and I caught everything of what I needed to catch. And F, I, I, did, aside from the FA Jabba fight, it was three round, three round knockout FA Jabba from Nigeria. He's a former 2016 Nigerian Olympian. And yes. you see, Doc, out of the African countries, Nigeria is probably one of the strong, the stronger ones. Cameroon, Nigeria, Ghana. Yeah. Those, those are the top. African the top. countries. Yeah. yeah. But then you got the Northern African countries like Algeria and Tunisia. Those guys are really good boxers. Yeah. Really good, really good boxing. Good, really good amateurs. Really good amateurs. Yeah. 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 Um, um, at yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say, like, you know, in, in the UFC, just as a parallel, yeah. three of the champion, world champions, in different way, three different weight classes are, from are Nigerian. Africa. Yeah, Nigerian, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they are, uh, they're a fighting country, right? Yeah. They produce fighters. And this guy, man, first of all, what a physical. He's a, a specimen, man. right? He's a specimen. Ooh. He's 6'6", six, six, 26 years old. I 15. Love it. Now it's 15 and all in 12 KOs um, with a third round KO of Brian Howard, 15 yes. and five. And uh, like I said, matchmaking, how, <laughs> how important matchmaking is, man. Hey. He has one out of the, all the heavyweights. He has one of the nicest one twos yeah. I've seen. Ben really that beautiful. He felt it's bad for Brian Howard when he dropped like that from that right hand. Like, damn, man, I hope he's okay. The yeah. way he dropped, like he got shot. Boom, a drop. Man. And, and you and, go face first, that's the worst. Yeah, for sure. And FA, I mentioned him a few podcasts ago. I don't know if you remember, but I mentioned him. Of course you did, Doc. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> we have video evidence. Okay, we're gonna let's go back in the archives. We gotta go back. Yeah. Let's get our producer to go back and check the tape. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I do like him. I I I I watched his last fight as well. Uh there's another guy. Um like what heavyweight is going to want to fight him? No. That ain't, and he's already had trouble getting some big name fights. Yeah. Heavyweight fights. I know that uh what is it? Uh who's fighting uh coming up uh, in the heavyweight? Joyce Joyce is fighting. Joyce is, and then yeah. isn't um, isn't well, Dillian White just fought uh, um, Dillian White Bebeckin. just fought Bevek in, in the yeah. match. Um, yeah, yeah. What was I know that, that other? I know. Well, he's got a the the Tyson Fury and 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 Joshua like is still not complete with the with the uh, with destination of where the fight's going to be at and stuff. Yeah. They're waiting to go. I saw a recent interview with Tyson Fury. Mm -hmm. Now they're just waiting for the best offer. And they've already gotten an offer, and that's pretty good, but he thinks yeah. they can do even better. So Yeah. Um, but it's maybe, going down, though. It's going down. In, it is going June. down. They said, yeah, they've agreed Jimerson. to the numbers, Yeah. basically. But now it's about who's going to offer the most money. Yeah. You know, yeah. they're agreed on the percentages and all that stuff. Okay. So, um. Yeah, we're, we're waiting. And there's a, here's, they better make a decision soon, right? Because they have a rematch clause. Yeah, yeah. And within that rematch clause, they don't have to fight a mandatory in between. So it would be, they fight, they and then they fight to. it again. Yeah. And if it's a June fight, then they'll fight again, like in the late fall. Oh, that's what that contract does, eh? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But so, but they got to get that date nailed down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So they can do two fights in 2021. You know what, Doc? Honestly, I believe like sh shortly in, in time, everything's going to start happening. All the fights that were supposed to, I heard Charlo's going to fight coming up in, in the summer, a big fight. Um, every, uh, everyone's going to have, these guys are all going to fight. Their, their fights are going to start happening now. Uh, we just, we just heard, speaking of that, we just heard Brian ryan garcia today um and then he just uh he just got a oh, where did i put this with uh well anyways it's javier fortuna that that yeah. he's fighting yeah 
Um, yeah, yeah Fortuna's a, a good, uh, he's a slick, slick fighter. He, he's not bad. I don't, he's got a few losses on his record. Yeah, yeah, Fortuna. yeah, yeah. Um, I gotta find that, man. Freak. But yeah, he's got a couple losses. Yeah. But we'll, well, we still we'll, have the other heavyweight fight we still have coming up. It's the Ruiz, Ruiz is fighting, right? Yeah, but he's putting Areola, man. I didn't even I know. know that guy's even still around. And they're putting this yeah, on no. pay-per-view. I mean, yeah. it's not a pay-per-view worthy, guys. Let's, let's true, get true. serious, man. Come on. True, true. Yeah. I just, I got to remember who Joyce is fighting. I, I can't remember. U- Usyk. He's fighting Usyk. Oh, is he? Yes. Oh, yeah? Oh, that, that'd be a good test. Yeah, I'm not really high on Usyk. I think Usyk is good, but he's just he's a professional amateur. Well, I I, I do like him, uh, but I don't. I have a different opinion. I do like him. I think he's highly skilled, but I don't I don't I don't like him at heavyweight. I just think he's too small. That's what I'm saying. That that's what I mean at heavyweight. He, yeah. He in in the in the cruiserweight, he was good at that. He was good in the cruiserweight, he perfect, was dominating perfect weight. He was hurting people and stuff, yep. but in heavyweight, he's he's a subpar. Uh yeah, yeah. Not as I, dominant. No, no. He just doesn't have the punching power. And he, Joyce is a big boy. I mean, this is gonna be a tough a, a, a tough fight for him. Yeah. But if Joyce wins, beats Usyk. Oh, that I know. Puts Joyce yeah. right up into uh, in up with those guys. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah, it definitely, definitely, it does. It does. Um, but let's see. I let's see. I want to see. I'm very curious. I uh, Andrew Ruiz's performance. I I know she's she's rededicated. I hope he stays on that rededication path because I mean, it, like those guys won't let him slip up. Like those guys are the those type of. They train like that, like tunnel vision. Yeah, yeah. Eddie Reynoso, you're talking about. Yeah, Eddie Reynoso with Canelo and Valdez and Ryan Garcia. Um, okay, so here's a good question. Uh-huh. Here's a question for mm-hmm. you. With Ruiz, he's in really good shape now, yeah. according to what we've seen. Yeah. He's lost a lot of weight. Yeah. He looks amazing. Yeah, he does. But has he reached the point where he's wa- lost so much weight that he's going to feel the effects of a big heavyweight hitting him. Um, I, you think he's a small heavyweight? Like, I think he's, I think he's a smaller heavyweight now. I, yeah, he is a smaller. But what he had before the weight he had before was excess. Like that, he didn't need that. That slowed him down. He's yes. a, he's he's and even at that, even that big. He was yes. still fast, and that was his uh, advantage, that he was still skillful and fast, and for that bigger that guy with the excess weight, and now he's lost that weight, the, the, he'll be sharp. It'll be sharp. I I hear what you're saying. Yeah. If the weight too much, will yeah. he, like when Roy Jones keep went up to heavyweight, then he came back down to light heavyweight. Um, lost all that away, and it was hard for him to perform, even though he should really should have won the first fight. Then he yeah. got knocked out in the second and beat in the in the third. That's right. That's right. So that'll be interesting to see with Ariola. But mm-hmm. Ariola himself is not the biggest heavyweight either. Yeah. Like these guys now are six foot five, six, 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 seven, six, nine. Like these are big freaking heavyweights now. Yeah. Yeah. They're big boys. Yeah, the other question is. Who's Wilder fighting next? Why is Wilder even around? Like I, I haven't even heard anything about Wilder. I maybe heard a few comments that like he's made and stuff, but nothing pertaining to him coming, coming back, back and yeah. any fight that he has. One thing, Doc, and I know it's coronavirus is happening right now. Yeah, and maybe that is a reason, and it probably is. But I mean. If you really want to fight, I guess I don't know. I, it's hard for me to say, but there's too there's so much inactivity in boxing, and it probably is because of the coronavirus. Yeah, the, yeah. the coronavirus that has made this happen. Like these fighters are getting older on the shelf, older. Yeah, yeah, you're right. As, as time right. progresses. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah, we gotta, we gotta, that's what we gotta see some of these fights happen already. And that's why I think, like, now yeah. that like fans are allowed in some places, in some yeah. countries, in some states, and whatever, that we're gonna start seeing this now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's get them going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These fights happening and stuff. Dog. Okay. Okay. Is it? Is it? Um. Is it Ben Connor Ben? No, but I I, li- I do like <laughs> I do like him. <laughs> okay, you gotta tell me now, man. Does he eating away at me, honestly? And and I think he fought this this past weekend. Okay. It's Jerwin on Kayas. Oh my God! Yes, he definitely did. And that's one of the fights that Rodriguez that we can talk about. Yeah, Jonathan Rodriguez. What? He's one of your favorite fighters. He's Lomachenko level. He absolutely uh, is. Dog, come the on. The southpaw. Man. He. I, he has defense. His technique is impeccable. He's creative with his combinations. He is like Matrix. I'm telling okay, you. Okay. Okay. Dog. Kid is Matrix. But he, your matrix was matrix was different. Like, but what what Vasily Lomachenko was doing was like it was like the movement. Like he's here, but Druin Anka Ankas, he's he's so well schooled southpaw, oh. close to the body, sick like nice sick boom punches like bang to the body, stabs nice left hand to the body, boom boom bang, all beautiful beautiful. And he almost had Jonathan out at one point in the 11. But to me, but Jonathan came back, man, and he won those rounds and made the fight. I mean, and that was on uh, um, what was it, his uh, ninth, he 10th defense. Right. Ninth or right. Ninth? ninth or 10th. Yeah. I, I think it was his ninth. Okay, so but I think he's saying he had, yeah, his ninth, ninth defense, ninth, right? That's crazy. The 115 IBF title. No one, not many people get long reigns, uh, defenses because every defense is is the number one rated guy, number one rated, number one rated guy, right? But I think. But I know actually with the IBF that they allow two optional um, fights, two options, and then the the mandatory and the third fight. So, oh, because I remember Steve Molitor when I when I used to train with him, he used to have two optional fights, and then the third one would have to be the mandatory number one IBF ranked guy. So hmm. I think I think that's I think that's how German got his nine defense because when we're talking about like um orlando gonzalez and the 16 defenses that he had um that was like the the best the number one guy every time but then now you have these optional defenses doc ops they never had optional it was like the mandatory man the top guy top guy right yeah yeah true but it's a low, it's a, it's a low weight division, right? So there's going to be way more punches thrown, mm-hmm. way more landed. Like that's a tough, all those lightweight divisions, light divisions or, are so tough. You know, or, that because yeah. you fought in those. Yeah. Orlando, or, Orlando Conozales was 119 or he was that weight. Wow. And he wow. had 16 defenses, 16. That's incredible. I don't know if that's going to be matched ever, but I that's think incredible. So, man. I, yeah. I have him as a friend on Facebook and we talk sometimes. It's cool. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's yeah, very yeah. cool. But I, just, I, you know, back to German uh, on Kayas. Yeah. His, uh, his footwork, his feet are quick. Mm-hmm. He's in and out. I he's mean, in and out. He's, yeah. he's coming at him. Yeah. I, He's beautiful to watch. I love watching this guy. I went he, back and watched a bunch of his fights. Oh yeah, blown away by how skilled he is. Yeah, yeah. yeah you oh, that's it. And that's why I was confused, Doc, when you said mm-hmm. when you asked mm-hmm. this question. No way would I have said Drew and 
even though even though I look, I I think he's really really good. He's really well schooled. Um, uh, he's twenty nine. He's twenty nine. Um, he hasn't. It's it's not a Lomachenko style type domination, like making guys quit. No Maschenko. This is like he struggled. He had a tough. He had a not tough, but a close fight with this with this kid, Jonathan Rodriguez. And Jonathan Rodriguez is is unheard of, um, unknown unknown fighter in, in around here, yeah, around in the states and stuff. He's really unknown. Yeah, that, I mean that doesn't mean he's not a tough guy though. No, I, I, no, definitely he took not. A lot of punches. He did. He, uh, he had a good chin, and sometimes yeah. his chin can get you into the late rounds. Right. Mm, yeah. But go back and watch. We'll talk about it next week. Go back and watch a few of uh, of Jerwin's uh, fights and tell yeah. me what you think after watching a few more fights of his. Okay, so he's thirty one and one and two draws, twenty two KOs. IBF IBF yeah. champion. Yeah, Rodriguez is only twenty five. He's twenty two and two, sixteen KOs. Yeah, it's a good record. So the judges scores. We're 150, uh, sorry, we're Tony Palelo, 115, 112, Tony, Tommy Shrek, 116, 111, and Don Trella, 117, 110. Yeah. And they're 117, 110, which is obviously ridiculous. And the 116, 111, it was a closer, it was a 115, 112, 113 type of fight. I don't think so. I didn't score it that way. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, we got to disagree sometimes. <laughs> but I thought we were both on the same uh, wavelength. I just thought in this fight, he did so many small little things that that uh, won him more rounds. And and I get, I would score it. Yeah, 117, 110 is a bit high, but I thought he did dominate him throughout the fight. I mean, and, yeah, but great, great, very, very well schooled, very yes. good technical. Nothing flashy, but I'm not saying flashy needs to be part of the game. But I'm just saying his style, like Mar- Juan Manuel Marquez, those guys, they weren't flashy, but they did everything sick, like really good, right? You know? And it was beautiful to watch Marquez mm-hmm. fight. Mm-hmm. I, it I was just beautiful, just I, like it was. Doc, sorry, just yeah. just like it was Ankyas. With this fight, honestly, and I I watched every round and I was diligently watching it. Okay, okay, go back and watch a few of his other fights. Let's see if you're if you're uh, if I can change your opinion a little bit. Okay, okay, yeah. fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, give it a shot. Yeah. But if you still feel the same way, then you feel the same way. Then maybe I'm missing something. I'm looking too too far into it, but I doubt it. <laughs> oh, okay. So should we should we go skip back over now to the ESPN fight? Let's and, go back. And that was did you see did you see Joe Smith Jr. and yeah. Maxine Vlazov, Joe Smith yeah. from Rhode Island, New yep. York, Vlazov yep. from Russia. Yeah. Um Jr. now, Joe Smith Jr. now improves 27 and 3, 21 KOs with a majority decision win over Maxine Vlazov, 45 and 4, 26 KOs. Um, David Sutherland scored the contest 114 114, and Pat Russell and Gerald Ritter overturned that 115 113 for Smith Jr. I know what you're what, yeah, and you're th- I know what you're thinking. Like, yeah, Vlaza was a, a clear win- winner here. I, I think it, I think he w- it was a close fight. Mm-hmm. I scored it. I scored it in Vlasov's favor, uh, seven rounds to five, and um, mm-hmm. I just think he he uh, you know if you get caught with two or three power shots in a round, yeah, but every everything else in that round was you coming forward and you throwing <laughs> connecting yeah. with combinations. Yeah. You don't lose the round necessarily. No. Because you got hit with a few power shots in that right. round. Right. And I don't I think the power shots, the judges scored that to uh you know to Joe Smith Jr. But 
you know, the herky jerky movements of Lasov, the unpredictable <laughs> of what he was going to throw. He is my um, word, man. And, and he came forward. Mm -hmm. He was always coming forward. He was. Uh, he was. And, and Joe Smith, like, boy, you know, I love I love the guy. I love his story and everything. Yeah. But Blue he's collar. a little bit of a one trick pony, too. I told he is. He is. Right. He's got that yeah. overhand right. Yeah. His counter punches are usually the same. It's either mm -hmm. a counter hook, counter uppercut, or, or counter overhand right. And then only in round seven, which he won that round clearly, yeah. was he committed to the body. And yeah, you're 11, right. Yeah, yeah, I remember right? that. Yeah. Um, but throughout the fight, there were very few body shots from both guys, but especially yeah. Joe Smith. Uh, junior, uh, I think he won definitely round 11 and round 12. So 7, 11, and 12, I gave him, and then I gave him two other rounds. I think yeah. that's a hard argument to, to deny. Like, I think it's hard to deny that. Yeah, I actually I agree with you with that yeah. score. And um, this this fight was for the WBO inter, um, the WBO belt vacant. Yeah. So yeah. it was a it was a big fight in that regard for both guys and. I, I agree with you, Doc. I think Vlasov, he did enough. I, it was that initially at the beginning, it was that style of that style he that he even though his amateur background wasn't huge, it wasn't like a, like the you expect Russians or any anyone from that side of the uh, of the world um, that they're going to be well schooled in the amateur system. He wasn't long in the amateurs, but he had a a, a style that was so effective and it was winning him so many rounds until I think, I think uh, I, my thought is that it was a close fight. Yeah. But Vlazov deserved the victory for sure. But we knew uh, I, he was not going to get it there. He wasn't no, going to get it. He's such a fan favorite. Yeah. That. He's a, he is. It's he's like a Donnie a Lalonde, the C Canadian Donnie Lalonde. Yeah. Yeah, like blue hair, uh, blonde hair, yeah. tall, muscular, you know, blue eyed. I think Who's that's gonna, one. you know, what makes a bigger buzz? Vlasov, exactly. exactly. There you go. Yeah. Exactly. Junior. Because that's that's the that was what the the consensus was that the winner will fight Arthur better be a. <laughs> right, right. And the thing is, like, he still, Vlasov also showed he had a pretty good shin, too. I mean, he took a few big shots from uh, he Joe Smith. Oh, yeah, and Joe Smith's a huge puncher. Yeah. Right, 27 and 3, 21 KOs. So he's a big puncher. Big puncher. What's he going to do against against Better Bia? Oh, he, he better not just, he better not show up, man. He, I don't think he should throw a rough <laughs> overhand right. Better be of A has a great chin. And he, he knows he's gonna be throwing that. Yeah. He'll get caught out here and there, but it won't it better be of is, is too too smart. He's a smart fighter too. He doesn't yeah. get enough credit, better be of for being an intelligent fighter, but he is. Oh, hundred percent because it's not just it's not just um, covering up tight defense and I just cover up and shell. It's like covering up, but systematically doing stuff, blocking, breaking the guy down, getting in close, hitting him to the body, hurting his body, doing stuff like that, right? Yeah. Makes yeah. for an effective fighter that has their hands up. Because some just go like this and take the shots. like Right. Or, but the good ones are looking and doing something while blocking like that he always comes up with a counter when he's back the guy in the corner yeah too yeah. so he's i mean that's that's gonna be wow that's gonna be a tough fight for joe smith jr but it did bother me that a guy a russian guy Vlasov, that's been you know been boxing pro for yeah. 16 years yeah um won the fight in my opinion and he doesn't even get that where does his career go from there like that sucks is that it i mean this is a talk this is this is the way it goes right this is yeah. the way this is the way it is this is the way um you know especially a sport like boxing is that you we all saw you know, i i don't even know 
what if they pulled people and what they thought. But to me, this was um, Vlasov deserved that victory. But then again, we're talking about the next fight because Joe Smith is a bigger, marketable fighter, and we're talking yeah. money and everything's about that. So yes. Flazov had it. He had to knock the guy out in order just to get a decision. <laughs> right. I get a draw <laughs> for knockout. Yeah, that sucks, man. That yeah. sucks. Yeah. But I, I also, I was thinking when I was watching that fight, I was thinking about, uh, what's his name? Prince Nassim when he fought Barrera. Mm-hmm. You know, Barrera kept to his fundamentals waited for this crazy fighter to come in and just using beautiful fundamentals countered him and and just boxed him beautifully yeah i was hoping something like that would happen with joe smith jr but he's not at that comparable caliber to a Pereira or a morales or those guys and he's never even shown that he has that ability doc like to be a good boxer and to do that He's just shown that he's a comfort fighter with power. He's, yeah. a, he's a decent boxer, but it, he's just got that power and he's got those straight punches, tall, longer, um, you know, bigger, imposing figure. And he can win fights like that. He's like the, he's like the Lemieux of that weight class. Yeah, yeah. Like an imposing figure that punches hard. Right. And you better right. be, you better get, you keep your eyes open. Yeah, yeah. Because it could be night, night. Yeah, so you got to have more than a big punch against these top, top guys. Oh, my God. We already, already have 54 minutes. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> you know you know what we got to do? We got to start doing what time limits on things that we talk about. Okay. So, we can, get through, so we can get through everything. Because good idea. you really caught me off guard with German on class. <laughs> And I'm, I'm surprised you said that. And I mean, yeah. like, it's a good, it's a valid argument. But yeah. I don't. He's not like, he's not, he's not. He doesn't. He doesn't even belong in the conversation. I'm not trying to be rude, but yeah, in yeah, the yeah. conversation of the top, uh, 15, 20 guys in boxing. That's a shame. That's a shame. I mean, go watch it, his other fights. I think it's. A, I think it's a weight class. Show me. Show. Go watch the other fights. Then tell me. Okay. Yeah. You giving me homework, eh? I'm giving you homework, bro. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Check it and see. Good. And then tell me what you think. And wow. you know me. I love these technical fighters. I love For these sure. guys that are masters of the of the craft. So the art, the art. tell me what you think. Yeah. I would love to hear from other other people to see what they think about them. I know, man. Like, guys, like, please. I there's there's been no comments or any or, or questions. We want to hear some questions, guys. Send it to us at doc and the boxer at gmail dot com, um, or write a so, comment on the YouTube on our YouTube channel. Yeah, on the YouTube channel, exactly. Um, Let's hear because you guys may know more than we do as well. So yeah, or yeah. see it at a different angle. That's yeah. What I want. And that's what it is, Doc. Like a lot of people have their opinions, different opinions. I mean, I wouldn't liken it to the judges in a fight because they get the shit like so wrong, right? Right. But oh yeah. People see have different views from what yeah. they see, their point of view, and stuff. And that's, everyone has, you know. Yeah, and it, everybody can that that can add to the conversation. That's what yeah. I love about boxing. Too, yeah. So. Yeah. Love to hear that. So yeah, um, hit us up on the on on our you on our YouTube channel, Doc and the Boxer. Subscribe to us, guys. Yeah. Send us a question, and then we out, Doc. Um, this weekend, I know your buddy. You you like him, Demetrius Andre. Yes. He's fighting. You like him, eh? I like him, but uh, you know, I'm Isn't... I'm not as hyped on him as I was. Oh, you're jumping off the uh, off the train. Well, eh? a couple of of performances that didn't yeah. I felt didn't really showcase what he can do. So lack lackluster. A little lackluster. So mm. let let's see. Let's see. And he's fighting, yeah. you know, uh what's his Le- name? Liam Liam Smith. Or, yeah. Yeah. So let let let's see what he does. 
Mm-hmm. Let's see what he does. But I'm glad he's fighting this weekend at least. Yeah, I mean, like like I said, dog, there's gonna be a lot of fights. Yeah. A lot of fights are gonna happen. A lot of fights are already being signed. Um, yeah. So we have a lot to look forward to. Yeah, yeah. We'll get her going. Right. That's so it for this for tonight, eh? We're done like dinner. Holy smokes, that went fast. I'm gonna make like a banana and split, okay? Okay, bud. All right, doc. Peace out. Peace out.